A ceasefire between Israel and Palestinian militants in the Gaza Strip appears to be holding. The Egypt brocade truce followed three days of violence, with Israel targeting the Palestinian Islamic Jihad, PIJ, and militants firing rockets into Israel. At least 44 Palestinians died in the most serious flare-up since an 11-day conflict in May 2021. On Monday, Israel began lifting its blockade of the strip, allowing the fast fuel tanks to enter. The latest violence began with attacks by Israel on the sites in the Gaza Strip, which its military said was in response to threats from a militant group. It followed days of tensions after Israel arrested a senior PIJ member in the occupied Western Bank. By Sunday evening, the Palestinian Health Ministry said that 15 children had been confirmed among the 44 deaths recorded. Gaza's Health Ministry has blamed Israeli aggression for the deaths of Palestinians and for the more than 300 people wounded. Israel, for its part, said that it hit 170 PIJ targets during the operation, codenamed Breaking Dawn, killing several high-ranking PIJ members and destroying Tanus and weapons storage sites. A spokesman for the Israel Defense Forces said that they had information about 35 Palestinian deaths. 11 of them were in involved civilian casualties, including wives of the terror group's commanders in the south, victims of IDF attacks. Another 15 civilians were killed by PIJ fire, and General Kochev said 1,100 projectiles were fired from the Gaza Strip during the flare-up with 200 landing into Gaza. The U.S. Senate has approved a bill that includes $365 billion U.S. dollars. That's about £305 billion pounds for climate action, the largest investment in America's history. The authors of the Inflation Reduction Act say it will cut the country's carbon emission by 40% by 2030. Some households could receive up to $7,500 in tax credit to buy an electric car and $4,000 for a used car. The bill, a key plank of Mr. Biden's agenda, will now be sent to the Democrat-controlled House. It is expected to be backed there as soon as this week before it can be signed into law by Mr. Biden. With the U.S. midterm election just three months away, the bill's passage will be seen as a boost for the Democrats, and the U.S. has been hit by deadly flooding and wildfires in the recent years. Climate change increases the risk of the hot, dry weather that is likely to fuel wildfires. The world has already warmed by 1.1 degrees Celsius since the industrial era began, and temperatures will keep rising unless governments around the world make steep cuts to emissions. 